So how to take and remove yourself out of a never-ending pit. And this could be a pit of failure, a pit of hell, whatever your current frustration or failure is. But perhaps it's some kind of uh, barrier or plateau you have in the gym or your weight loss success or say Olympic lifting, you name it. Uh, but uh, what happens is, it, you know, your mindset becomes very uh, distressed and very cancerous to the whole process and uh, become very negative and doubtful and you further go down that path and uh, you're pretty much your own worst enemy at that point and uh, you lose confidence and um, you know one thing especially in the world of Olympic weightlifting um, you know you really got to be oblivious to failure uh, you got to let that roll off your back and really not let it affect you you know uh, I'm not saying you need to go in and take a hundred attempts and fail and fail and fail but it's the way you respond to that failure that makes all the difference uh, if you cause that to make you feel that you suck or you're no good or um, you know uh, there's something wrong with you, uh, that's the problem because it's going to make you curl up. It's going to make you reserved and it's going to make you timid and shy away from the real process. And you need to be, like I said, you need to be oblivious to that and know that uh, whether your coach is programming something in a certain way or you're working on a certain element, the only way to fix that is with everything you got. So you need to be consistent in your effort that every day when you show up, you're ready to, sh to, to shoot for the stars or you're ready to swing for the fences. And no matter what, if you come in and fail over and over and over, the only way for you to get through those plateaus are, is, is that consistent effort and that positive attitude that this could be your day, this could be your day, this could be your day. And failing and failing and failing and realizing that eventually you're going to break through. Um, for example, myself, um, you know, I had a knee injury two years ago and, uh, uh, you know, and a shoulder injury a year ago. And I, you know, it was a very dark place for me to go to, uh, considering my competitive career could be over. And at worst, uh, at first, it was the fact that I couldn't even compete or compete anymore, much less train the way that I've been used to since I was, you know, almost 10 years old. Uh, so that was a very uh, negative uh, path that I was looking at, and it, it was very depressing. But when I realized I could train again, it was it was one of the best uh, rewards, and, and, and uh, really um, um, enthused me and, and kept me positive. And all I really cared about was the fact that I could come and train and competition is something I never really considered too strongly at that point. I just didn't know. Uh, either way though, I was oblivious to the failures and just very happy that and thankful for the process that I could come in and train without pain. And it took two years now, two years in order to get back to some respectable training weights that I was at uh, pre-injury. And uh, didn't know if it would ever come and every day I showed up with the same attitude and mentality. I certainly had my bad days and it certainly took work and effort to keep myself oblivious to those failures and to keep, you know, fall down nine times, stand up ten, to keep coming back in. And, uh, you know, the journey was the reward. Without that, I would have given up a long time ago and uh, curled up in the ball and quit. But um, with that mentality, it got me through two years worth of frustrating workouts. Again, I was just happy to be there, but it's the only way I was able to dig my, myself from that pit of hell and that cycle of uh, subpar results and not getting what I want. Uh, so that was a big breakthrough for me and is now allowing me to make more progressive training. But still, tomorrow's not guaranteed. I have no idea what tomorrow is gonna happen tomorrow and so still, I'm ready for the worst and uh, you know, trying to prevent injury and things like that. Um, the only hope for me is to keep that same mindset. And regardless of where you're at, the only way you can continue to move forward is realizing you're going to fail and fail and fail and be okay with that and being able to cope with that correctly. So if you if you were working up uh, to a say a, a top snatch, clean jerk, etc., or you're, you're at a certain weight loss plateau, uh, you know the people that proceed and push on and push on, you know successes around the corner, and the people that push on through that that wall are the ones who finally find success versus those who give up because it finally gets too hard or they continue to fail and they get too frustrated. And when they, they get so used to that failure, uh, they get more and more negative and they become more apprehensive to the process and they don't give it their all and it continues a worse cycle of failure. That's the number one problem here that becomes a cancer because you hold back and you're not completely submitting yourself to the process and you're not giving 100% at that point. So you become your own worst enemy, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and the only way out is consistent effort and being completely oblivious to that failure recycle. So uh, if you want to break through, you gotta you gotta believe and you gotta know that something's gonna happen. I'm not saying do the same thing over and over and, and be insane and follow uh, that cycle, but you have to be consistent in your effort in, in uh, showing up, trying, giving everything you have, playing with certain elements and measuring it, taking notes and understanding the process 
and knowing cause and effect and understanding minutia versus bigger picture problems and what might be causing some of your failures. That's your only success way uh, to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. So you can climb yourself out if you can stay positive and focused and now let the failures break you down, make you negative and uh, cause self-defeating mental habits.